Hey traders, Parker here with another indicator. Today I've been introduced you to the daily, weekly, monthly, and pre-market after hours indicator. Uh, this is the name of it. But for the most part, it's a, uh, it's a, you could say it's the 2.0 of my levels indicator. But for the most part, I add in a lot of new features. What you're seeing initially is the pre-market labels with the change, the percentage of the change, the pre-market high, low, and pre-market high and low as well and if you look at the indicator you have your after hours high your after hours low this is the S&P 500 is acting weird but these are actual uh, highs and lows for the stock so far but because it's acting weird I'm just gonna go to another stock but you can see your after hours you can see your pre-market pre-market low pre-market high right here your uh, weekly high right now your weekly high it adjusts once the market opens up but this is the current weekly's high which is the tesla is obviously above your previous day high and your week current weekly low anything that's in dark red or dark green is going to be for the previous day or previous uh, month or previous week. Anything that's bright red or bright green or uh, is gonna be for the current day, current month, current uh, week. So for the most part, I push anything that's current is gonna be forward. Anything that's previous is gonna be in the rear or back in the back. What you get with this indicator, uh, what I just explained as well, you're going to get the inside, uh, if you're familiar with the inside day indicator, uh, inside outside bar indicator, you're going to get this uh, label that says inside week, meaning that the current high and low, the current high is below the previous uh, high and the current low is above the previous low, which makes this a, uh, inside week and it's a holy grail just because the inside bar, outside bar, uh, two bar pattern. So you're going to be getting that label as well. And you see Tesla has that label. Um, you're going to get the time reminders. If you look down below, you have your open 15 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, I mean, five minutes, 15 and 30. Then you have your pre-market open, your five minute uh, and your 15 minutes as well. This indicator also has an open range uh, in it as well. You can make the adjustments. I add in fibs for the open range. This top of the gray box is going to be your open range high. Low of the box is your open range uh, low. This is going to be your 28.3 fib, I think that is. Let me make sure I got my numbers right. So, this is going to be your 28 point. Uh, let me just do the fib because I can't remember the numbers right off the bat. But that's going to be your 23.6 fib. That's going to be your 38. That um, Let me slow down because I'm going too fast. So the bottom of this blue box is going to be your 23.6 field. The next, uh, the bottom of this gold box or this yellow box, you're going to be your 38.2 field. Your 50, I don't have that marked out. I chose not to mark it out. You're going to have your 61.8 field. It's going to be the top of the gold box. And your 78.6 is going to be at the top of the blue uh, cloud. And like I said, your field high. But those are your fibs uh, that I add into this uh, open range. <clears throat> uh, some of the other features are you can actually cut on those bubbles, the inside day, outside uh, bar bubbles as well. So we'll cut those on. Sometimes if you're on a lower time frame, they can really clog up the screen. So as you can see, it's not very helpful when you're zoomed all the way out, but when you're zoomed in, they help out, especially if you're playing uh, the inside bar, outside bar plays. There's your holy grail. Your holy grail was uh, an outside bar preceded by inside bar, and your nirvana is an inside bar preceded by outside bar. You can see how the pattern worked out. On this one, you would take the trade once you got a break above this, uh, I believe it's outside bar right here, and you would have been nice in there. And one, to, uh, let's go to a high time frame. Let's do one year, one day. If you notice, also I stopped a lot of things from being uh, plotted. Once you go to a high time frame, you don't have the time remind reminders. You don't have the uh, daily high either showing either. 
what you're seeing right now is your uh, pre previous uh, previous month high. Uh, let me zoom out. So this hasn't been updated because this is November the first, and the market hasn't opened up. But this will jump down here to show you your new previous month high and low, and uh, this year previous week and this year previous week low. And like I said, anything that's bright green is going to be your current. But when you push forward, <coughs> excuse me, those bright green, they're going to persist. So you just know that this was my previous month. And then, then this became the previous. This was the current month of September. And then this was September's uh, previous. Uh, yeah, this was September's low. Previous month, September's uh, low, which became uh, the previous month uh, low, which you can see right here. This is October, and that's why it's showing like this, just because this is November 1st, and it hasn't updated yet because the market is closed. And there's your inside week, inside, and holy grail. And you can also notice that the, uh, the pre-market label went away as well. But when the market actually does open up, you will get uh you will get your uh mark um your open market label to show you the day's change. I'm going to just go on demand so a lot of stuff will start popping up. And we went all the way back to two December twelfth, twenty eighteen. So uh this was an inside day and inside week for the Tesla stock. Here's your inside day it say ISB is inside bar, but it's an inside day and it's an inside week as well. <clears throat> so we're going to go down to the lower time frame and we're going to be able to see those other labels. And right now it's still showing pre-market and Tesla. Let's go to another stock because Tesla obviously did that, that split. There's your pre-market level for the spy. And this is the same thing. So I'm going to push it forward to the open. So we're going to say 9 o'clock. Because I'm trying to get it to populate those levels for me. So there's your day change label. There's your open range label. If you don't want this open range label, you can cut it off. It's a, a tab in here where you can cut off the open range if you don't want it on there. There's your open range, uh, show range label. You can cut that off. Here's your range time. Show only today, uh, the cloud. And there are some fibs in there, <clears throat> uh, but they're based off the previous day. Uh, as you can see, your open label is the only one that's going to be centered. The rest of them would be just like they're shown. These are plotted for the rest of them be uh will be plotted backwards because they're all previous and even the previous uh, day high is going to be back here as well. So I'm going to push it to after hours as well because there's an after hours label as well. So let's do, I think 1600. Just give think a swim a moment. It didn't change. Let me try 16. 16 should work. That's 4 o'clock. Let's see. Come on, think this one. It's probably because I'm doing it so early in the morning. The market's getting ready to open up. Let me try taking it back off on demand. And let's go back onto on demand and let's try and change the time now. What I'm trying to do is just show you all the labels that are in there, uh, at least for the uh, after hours, the pre market, and uh, the day change. 
and it doesn't seem like it really wants to do it. I don't know what's going on with Think and Swim Under Man feature. Man, this is not right. Okay, I finally got to work. <laughs> Uh, the S P five hundred closed out. The labels will change colors as well. So the pre market, if it's bullish, it'll be blue. If it's bearish, it'll be purple. If the day changes is uh, bullish, it'll be green. If the day changes uh negative, it'll be red, like you're seeing now. And if the day change, uh, I mean, if the after hours is negative, like we'll zoom in, and you can see it's below the. Uh, the day is closed. So this was the last candle. And you can see the after hours uh, closed uh, somewhere down there, well, right here. It's below this close right here. So, and it's negative. And you get your change, you get your percentage of the change, and you get your after hours and everything. So let's go back. I let the stock play out, and this is TQQ. You can look right here. Here's all your information right here. And today was a gap up day, an outside day, a Nirvana, an inside week, and an inside month. Uh, the indicator gives you all this information. Uh, you can see all the, you can see everything that happened. You can see the um, open range right here completely just dropped out once uh, the jobs numbers hit. And you can see the previous day uh, low, the previous week. You can see all your information right here. Uh, this is uh, the first day of the month. So right now, this is a fresh low because it breached this low right here. And this is a fresh low for the day, the week, and this month. It's the month of November. So we can actually go and go back to a higher time frame. It's what I was saying earlier because it was the first day it wasn't going to show everything or show everything accurately until the market actually opened here's your previous month and you can see right here it's coming from uh october so you got your previous month high you got your previous week high you got your current high current day and week high and month high as well current uh day week and month high as well here's your previous low from october <clears throat> And that's generally everything. You can see how there's your Nirvana. You have your inside bar, your outside bar. And that's your Nirvana for the uh, day. And there's your outside bar where the high is higher than the previous high. And the low is lower than the previous low. And we can go to the weekly chart now and see our inside week. Here's your inside week. And we can go for the month as well. Here's your inside month. We'll switch it back down to the lower time frame and we'll just look into the features. So PM high, low. You can cut all this stuff off. The time remainders, anything that you don't want, you can cut all off. There are some alerts uh, in, built into this as well. If the... Uh, if the stock breaches above or below the uh, open range, high or low, and the globules is really just the uh, open range, but you can you have full access to change any of this stuff as I showed you in the um, in these features right here. You can anything that I've, uh, any colors or anything that you want to change, you can change any of that stuff. And this is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, wasn't anything else on here that I wanted to show you, but you see it's a gap update. It have a red if it was gap down. Uh, the outside Nirvana, I mean outside day Nirvana, inside week, inside month. And really those right there just tell you how to play everything and you really want to pay attention to those high lows or breaches below those high lows. <laughs> And that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope uh, everything I've said has helped you uh, with the understanding of this uh, understanding of the application of this indicator. And I hope that uh, um, everything works out for you. And God bless. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.